Imagine a perfect world where on a Saturday any child across the globe can go down to their local waterway and jump in for a swim without fear of getting sick. Where you can go to your tap and you can pour a glass of water and drink it without fear of being contaminated with toxic chemicals. Or a world where a family anywhere on the globe can go out and fish on a pristine lake and not have to worry about whether it's safe to eat the fish that they caught. But unfortunately, that's not the world that many people live in today. And that's because every day around the world, polluters are poisoning our waterways and the public suffers the consequences. But I haven't lost hope because we've got water keepers across the world fighting for everyone's right to clean water. We are room for the green. What good is it a dream if we don't activate it? The first seven of us, uh, Casco Baykeeper being the seventh waterkeeper in the country, he formed an organization which is now known as Waterkeeper Alliance. And it's a waterkeeper's job to stand up and say what the community feels about the water and protect that water. I'm Sally Bethay, and for the past 18 years, I've been the river keeper for the Chattahoochee, a waterway that starts as a small spring in the north. My name is Kristen Tully. In 2001, Mark Matson and I started Lake Ontario Waterkeeper. Today we're heading back out in the river. Uh, two of the big issues facing this community are the dams and the cutbacks on the dish Water Keepers are a really very courageous collection of men and women who've been able to go up against these forces. Some of these people are working in total isolation. And we do it to restore the value of these waterways so that if you're rich or poor, humble or noble, black or white, you have an absolute right to the waterways. They're not owned by the governor or the legislature. They're owned by all the people. It's inspired the creation now of water keepers all across North America and indeed across the whole world. I'm Theo Thomas, the London Water Keeper. This city needs a strong voice for clean water. I'm here to stop this. Last week, a group of river keepers, uh, folks who basically act as watchdogs for the Cape Fear River in North Carolina, they hopped into an aluminum john boat and scooted up the Cape Fear River to try to find out what was going on with whatever this nightmare orange stuff was that seemed to be finding its way into the river. They were able to snap these photos of what appeared to be Duke Energy caught in the act of pumping liquid out of those toxic blue ponds and into the canal that runs directly into the Cape Fear River, which incidentally supplies drinking water downstream. We can't do it without all of you, and the battles ahead that we have are going to be hard and they're going to be long, and we need your help. And together, with your support, we can realize that world that we imagined, that perfect world where people can swim in clean water and drink clean water and fish in clean water. I'm excited about what I've already transpired across the globe because of water keepers like you who have dreamed and continue to dream. Remember this, don't ever let words kill your dream. Circumstances can destroy your dream. Conditions shouldn't hamper your dreams. Dream when your finances are low. Dream when your finances are gone. Dream when the naysayers say you can't. Dream when the doubters are all around you. Dream when folks think you've lost your mind. Dream anyway when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but be the water keeper, don't quit. You are the dream keepers, you are the activators. Stand up for justice, stand up for truth, stand up for what is right, and be the water keepers that the world needs. You are ours now and our future.